For this example of using manual keyframes, we are going to create this animation. Let's get started. The first thing to do is to create the text. Each individual letter, we are going to create them. So instead of creating a long word, we are going to create a very short word with 4 letters. Let's select our text tool here and make sure in the tool option, see that it is in fill and layer. And now click to type in the first text. And then let's type in the next text and then the next one and the last one. Now the first text that we type will be the one at the bottom layer, which is this one here. And then the second one will be on top of that first layer. And the last layer will be at the top, which is T. And this is the last layer here. Now let's animate the text. To animate the text, we will start with the letter T, which is the first letter to go in. So let's go to the edit tool here, click that, and with the first letter T, which is the first layer here, so let's go down here, click that, and you can see we have the transform, but it's not this one that we're going to add the keyframe, but you can see this one with little A, which is the text, symbol for text there. Let's expand that, and we have this position here. So let's add a keyframe by right click on the position here and add the first keyframe. Bring the playhead somewhere to frame 10 and then make sure to be in the edit mode and then select the anchor point here and drag it into the canvas. Let's zoom in to see clear so we can nicely align it. And now let's do a right click and add a keyframe. Moving the playhead somewhere here, let's go to the next letter, will be letter H. So let's look for heights, let's scroll up, and here is our heights, let's expand this, and then again look for the little letter A in front, and then heights, and now we are in, so let's add a keyframe, bring the playhead somewhere here, and bring in our letter heights, and then add another keyframe. Now let's go to letter A, so let's move up to the next layer, which is this one here, expand this. And now let's move our playhead somewhere here, right click and add another keyframe and then move the playhead somewhere there and bring in our little letter A. Now right click and add a keyframe. You can also do this when you select this, you do a right click and you have the option of smoothing of the animation. Now let's go to the next one, T. So let's look for T here and then we expand this, go in here. And then let's move the playhead somewhere here, add our next keyframe, move it somewhere here and bring in our letter T. Now that we have that, let's uh, add a keyframe. Now we finish our text, so let's play the animation to see. And now we want to have this rectangle around this uh, small text here. So to do that, let's move our playhead somewhere here. Let's uh, minimize all these uh, layers here first. So once we have that, um, let's go up to the draw bezier here click on the draw bezier and make sure in the tool option make sure to be in the stroke and then uncheck the fill on the right hand side is the color palette for the stroke here the lines that we're going to draw so for this part we're going to do automatic keyframe so let's enable the recording button here and you can see at the bottom here it's called it says recording keyframes let's start adding our little rectangle here Make sure to select the edit tool here and once you select that you can see this other tool becomes active. In the base here select the base here and then double click here to draw this little circle here and now go to the edit tool here and you can see it changed to rectangle and now let's move our keyframe somewhere here, our playhead somewhere here and then in here you can see this little tool say add node. So let's click here while holding the left mouse button, click on the add node and we are able to add this node here. Move the playhead to the next one and then click again the add node. Click here, click and drag it down. Move the playhead, click add node, click the left side button of the mouse and drag it like that. And now we need to cl close this gap up. And now let's move our playhead up here and then click here, click the add tool and then click the rectangle here and drag it up. Zoom in more and you can align it nicely there. Okay, let's stop the recording button and play our animation. 
Okay, so that's how we can create this uh, small animation and um, using the manual keyframe for the text. Thank you again for watching, see you back again in another video.